Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's spend some time to take a look at a question taken from the competition question bank. We have a question of three variables where the cubic function of each variable is related to the product of all three in some way. From there, we are trying to determine the value of each of them. To me, the layout of this question is a little misleading where one is tempted to try to solve it by using a cubed minus 1 is equal to b cubed minus 2 is equal to c cubed plus 3. I don't know where this will lead us, but there's a better way to deal with this. And the way to do is actually, at least to me, is to multiply equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. If we do that, then on the left hand side, a cubed minus b cubed minus c cubed, I can express that as a b c cubed. And on the right hand side, I would actually have a b c plus 1 multiplied by a b c plus 2 multiplied by a b c minus 3. And before we go any further, just to save myself from having to say a b c all day long, Let's just go ahead and use a simple substitution. I'm just going to go and say let x equal to a, b, c. And let's go ahead and rewrite our equation. So now I have x cubed is equal to x plus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 3. Opening up the bracket I have on the right hand side, x squared plus 3x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3. From here, that's equal, that's equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 6 x cubed and x cubed will cancel each other and minus 3x squared and positive 3x squared will cancel each other so what I now have is 0 is equal to negative 7x minus 6 and if I rearrange the equation I would have a b c equal to x equal to negative 6 over 7 Let's now try to solve for the individual value of a, b, and c. I have a cubed is equal to 1 minus 6 over 7, which is equal to 1 over 7. Therefore, a is equal to 1 over the cube root of 7. b cubed is equal to 2 minus 6 over 7 equal to 8 over 7. Therefore, b is equal to 2 over 7 cube root. As for c, c cube is equal to negative 6 over 7 minus 3, which is equal to negative 27 over 7. Therefore, c is equal to negative 3 over the cube root of 7. So these three are the final answer for today's question. As always, I'm grateful for you taking the time to watch this video. Have a good day. Goodbye.